All right, we are recording. Congratulations for joining us again on another Friday. Jennifer just dropped my YouTube channel in the chat because I post all of my classes there Friday evening, Saturday morning, just in case people want to review it and can't make it on Friday at three o'clock. I was interested, kind of interested in taking a survey before I got started today on whether or not you think offering this class on Friday a little bit later would be better for people, like maybe around four for 30. So if that kind of works for you guys, drop that in the chat. 4.30 works for me. Um, I might be changing the time come January, okay, because of uh, scheduling conflict. So hi, Alita. Welcome, welcome. So our topic for today, I hope you're excited because our topic is proactive immune support. So I'm going to be, there's no videos from YouTube, but I'm going to be showing product and talking. And I would love to just have an interactive conversation because we've all been sick before and we are all regular oil users here. And we can learn from each other, right? I'm going to share some basic things and then some very experienced protocols that I've used on people that have called me to actually go to their home when they were sick. They were like, I am sick. I am. I understand if you don't want to come and help me, but like, I'm not that sick. I'll wear a mask. Can you just come do an oil treatment on me? Can you just come throw oils on my back and my feet. And I was like, sure, I think I'm comfortable doing that. Went over their house, did the my protocols and they were so much better. So I am confident in my capacity and certain in all of these oils and protocols that I recommend to people. So when you do a search on those words, proactive immune support, you know, in Google, guess what comes up? Supplementation. Supplementation and everything else that we find here in our doTERRA wellness pyramid. So many of you have seen it before. We live by the doTERRA wellness pyramid. And the bottom level is nutrition and digestion. And then we have movement and metabolism. Those two bottom levels lay the foundation for a healthy lifestyle and a functioning balanced immune response. The doTERRA wellness lifestyle pyramid illustrates how optimum wellness is achieved through a combination of healthy lifestyle behaviors and habits and proper medical care. We know that when lifestyle is the focus, health can be naturally achieved and maintained, right? And so we have to realize that our daily habits make all the difference in the world. Like you could have the oils, but if you don't pick it up and put it on your body, they're not gonna work. They're not that magical, right? <laughs> you have to open the bottle, you have to put it on your body, in your body, you have to smell it, you have to use them. So foundational proactive immune support begins with lifelong vitality, our supplements, and all the nutritional products and digestive products as well. So think MetaPower, Terrazyme, PB Assist in the sachet, or even our new Restore probiotics that has the postbiotics as well. For those of you that don't have it, I believe it's coming out November or maybe January. If somebody could check on that for me, that'd be great. Um, our diet also needs to be considered, right? So our diet needs to be considered, especially since we're heading into the holiday season. Now, even if you don't celebrate any of the holidays like me, there's still so much temptation that goes around, okay? And it is called the beginning of the flu season for a very specific reason. 
I saw this saying on Instagram and I thought it was really cute. It says, we have a candy holiday followed by a pie holiday, then a fudge and cookie holiday topped off with an evening of alcohol indulgence to welcome in a new year. Sugar and alcohol compromise our immune system. So the choice is yours. If you participate in the flu season, okay? So do not fall into the trap while grocery shopping. Remember, a healthy diet is the main way that you support your immune system. Now, we're not going to go into certain recipes or exact foods, but a healthy diet of fresh fruits, vegetables, okay? And a balanced diet is necessary. But let's jump into a few oils that can be our first line of defense. Somebody tell me the top oil that you think of when you consider immune support. Just unmute yourself and go right ahead and yell it out. On guard. Yep. Mm -hmm. On guard. Everybody knows how amazing that oil is. Let's remember that it is also diffused in medical clinics to kill germs and pathogens. So not only does it smell good, but it is highly effective, right? So have all of the On Guard products on hand. I went around looking for all of them and I am missing the chewables. Does anybody have the chewables to share or to show? They come in a little white bag and they look exactly like um, the Sayati gum the MetaPower Sayati gum, which I love as well. I had a lot of those packages, but not of the, not any of the On Guard chewables. So I have to add that to my LRP for next month. But we have On Guard protective soft gels, which have Melissa and black pepper in it. So these are great. We have On Guard protective throat drops, which are fantastic for all types of sore throats. I have those in a little dish um, in my office, in my massage room, and people get to taste it there if they want it. And oftentimes they just order a bag for the season. So On Guard is our first oil that most people um, think of. Marvy, you have your hand up? Ah, there you go. Good job. The On Guard chewables. Dr. Hill uses those before he travels. He, um, stocks up on those and takes like two or three a day. So I got to get some of those. Now, if you run out of On Guard, you could go to the single oils in that blend, such as cinnamon or clove, because those have high antiviral and antibacterial properties. And you use them all three ways. Of course, copaiba is high up on the list when we think about immune support, right? But how many of you have turned to Arbor Vitae? for immune support. That's my personal favorite. Um, On Guard does not work quite as well as Arbor Vitae does. And I just put it all over the bottom of my feet in between my toes. And then I put a pair of loose socks on when I am first starting to feel like the first few signs of a cold or the flu. So Arbor Vitae is my personal favorite. Then we have um, thyme. Has anybody tried that oil? thyme and oregano, they fall into that same category of high antiviral. However, those are very strong scents, right? And so people don't like maybe family members or your significant other when you crawl in bed might not like those smells. So you could add those to an empty gel capsule, right? Um, I know my chiropractor recommends this time of year that everybody do an oregano steam in the morning. For 20 seconds, just put one little drop in a hot cup of water, take take a few deep breaths and breathe in the steam. And it cleans the mucosal membrane in the nostrils, kills any viral or bacterial fungus growing and has kept her and her husband healthy for the last three years without any cold or flu season, any cold or flus during the season. Uh, tea tree is also powerful right? It smells good. It could be used in all three ways. And if somebody here would like to throw up that flume recipe in the chat, that would be helpful. I'm sure 
Some of you saw it on my Instagram post. It's a combination of a few different oils. And tea tree is one of them. Frankincense, oregano. I forget which other one, but I'm sure somebody could find that and drop that in the chat. So it's a good reminder for all of us. How about some extra things outside of the doTERRA essential oil world? Like what kinds of things do you guys do? I make my husband these. Do you guys see this on my Instagram post? These are immunity shots and they are sold in 7-Eleven and some fast, um, you know, places like that. They're expensive. They're like $3.99, $4. Jenny, you have your hand up. Yeah, I was going to say, I love utilizing the neti pot just to make sure to get everything out too. Yeah, that's a good idea. I make my husband his own personal blend of immunity shots with orange juice. And he just packs one in his lunch every morning. And I put a drop of turmeric, lemon, and ginger. Those are pretty strong. In fact, I have to be careful that I don't get like an accidental two drops of any particular oil because he comes home and he's like, whoa, there was too much turmeric in that one, you know. Um, but one drop of each one of those for a ginger shot is amazing support for the immune system. Epsom salt baths. Does anybody take Epsom salt baths? Those not only feel good to the whole body. Yes, Marva, we can add any kind of a combination of oils to the Epsom salt to help our bodies purge toxins, reduce inflammation, and overcome the flu or any kind of viral infection much quicker. So I'm not saying that, you know, we don't get sick because sometimes we do, but the duration and the intensity are significantly lower when we have these products in our home and we're confident about using them, okay? How about yarrow palm capsules? Has anybody ever thought about that to help support your immune system? Marva says, yes, very good. Now this product is actually marketed for skin beauty. Yes, she has hers right there too. The Yarrow Palm capsules are marketed for skin beauty, but think about it. Your skin is considered an organ as well, right? And it manifests illness in many different ways. So here's just a few beneficial oils within our Yarrow Palm capsules. If you're not using them yet, maybe you should try those the next time you get a cold or something. Celery seed, known to help digestive issues. Marva's laughing. Frankincense, palma rosa, turmeric, and melissa, right? They also have active ingredients like grapeseed and melon extracts, as well as zinc citrate and vitamin C. So grapeseed and vitamin C are vital in collagen synthesis. And so this product goes hand in hand with our MetaPower as well. It could jumpstart any type of skin healing. A couple other oils that came to my mind when I was making up the outline are eucalyptus. Eucalyptus in the diffuser is amazing. And our new blend is pretty powerful. Spanish sage. Let's not forget about that. Because that could help our cognitive function when we are in the thick of an illness. And then, of course, Melissa on the roof of our mouth, because it offers, it crosses that blood brain barrier and can offer support to the nervous system, which also is connected to the immune system. Okay. So here's an interesting uh, portion of an article that I was reading from the British Journal of Medical Practitioners. Notice what they said. According to many COVID-19 survivors, remaining positive is a crucial factor in combating illness. So I love the fact that they are saying our mental state is directly connected to our physical state. 
knowledge about the enemy and our potential resources lessens fears and helps us to plan strategies to defeat the adversary. With a quarter of the world's population in the grip of COVID-19, it is highly it is a highly challenging period to learn to survive and strengthen our body and mind and enhance our immune system. Even using the wisdom of unconventional medicines, it says, and faith traditions can help. We will have to battle this inevitable enemy forever. So anything that fosters self-immunity should be encouraged in this time of a global medical emergency. So pretty powerful words, right? And then it goes on to remind us a little bit about how our, our immune system functions. It said the two functions of the immune system are defending the body's health and maintaining health. The immune system is depicted as having two components, the innate and the adaptive immune responses. The innate system is the more primitive and less specific. It is the body's first line of defense against foreign substances that may lead to disease. The adaptive system found only in vertebrates is a much more specific delayed response and requires sanction from the innate system to be instigated. Though considered separate, each interacts with the other in critical and complex manners. A basic understanding of both responses facilitates to clarify and further substantiate the significance of immune balance. So some people have an overactive immune system. Some people have an underactive immune system. That's why you have all these autoimmune diseases, right? And so the goal is to help both become balanced. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So there are many myths surrounding immunity enhancement. Enrichment of the immune system is possible so that it becomes vigilant and active in the event of an invasion by pathogens, and it may possibly prevent immunity anomalies. It is defending the defenders of the body. So the immune system is our protective shield, right? Metaphorically, immune cells are the guardian angels of the body. I'm coming. So balancing of immunity can be achieved by fostering and focusing on get this, what this is what the article said on sleep, healthy diet, moderate exercise, weight monitoring, restricting alcohol, free of smoking, and managing stress. Does that sound familiar? All of our lifestyle pyramid with doTERRA focuses on those topics, right? So it concludes by saying, in a nutshell, it warrants lifestyle changes. One size may not fit all and immune balancing has to be adjusted on an individual basis. So I was touched by this article because it helped me appreciate all that I have on hand in my home to take care of myself and my family. I can say that I'm not only confident, but I am certain that I can handle this new coming flu season and anything that's going to be coming at us. Um, I'd like to actually share now two of my favorite symphony of the cells protocols so i didn't make up any slides for this but you might want to jot these oils down because these have been most effective in my life with my family and with all of my clients the first is called the infectious disease protocol now it's a combination of nine different oils and i'm going to name three at a time okay so the first three oils in the infectious disease protocol are frankincense, oregano, thyme. We mentioned all of those already, right? Thyme is also an expectorant. So that's good to know because you want to release phlegm 
or toxins when you're treating bacterial or viral infections, right? The next three oils are On Guard, Aroma Touch, and Lemongrass. Everybody knows what On Guard does. Aroma Touch is a nerve stimulant and enhances blood flow. And Lemongrass is regenerative and cleansing. The last three oils for this infectious disease protocol is tea tree or melaleuca, melissa or arborvitae, and then peppermint. And here's what you wanna do. You wanna take two or three drops of each one of those oils. <clears throat> and if you're treating yourself, I recommend that you put it on your chest and your throat area. Just keep layering all of those oils one on top of each other. And then put a heating pad on top or a wet compress on your chest. You will feel an amazing difference, okay? So frankincense, oregano, thyme, on guard, aroma touch, lemongrass, tea tree, melissa or arborvitae, and peppermint, okay? The next protocol I want to mention is called the solar protocol. And this is in regards to your solar plexus. So you could put these, most of the times we do symphony of the cells on the spine when I'm treating people. And I'll use maybe between four to five drops of each oil. I layer it on the spine and I rub it in with a nice soft touch. I'm not going to do any manipulation of muscles or tissues. This is not the place for a massage. I just wanna get the oils on people so that it gets down to the tissues and helps their systems balance. The solar protocol is specifically for things that have to do with um, like Addison's disease. Has anybody ever heard of that? Do you know what Addison's disease is? It has everything to do with the adrenal glands. So your adrenals are found just to, uh, on top of your kidneys and they produce hormones, right? So think of things like adrenal fatigue when this is troubling you, um, insufficiency, chronic fatigue. Um, in the book here, it mentions both high and low blood pressure, muscle weakness, nausea, obesity, depression, mental fatigue, low energy bipolar disorder. So the solar protocol for Symphony of the Cells, the first three oils, frankincense, rosemary, basil. Frankincense is the oil of truth, but grounds us and protects us and has anti-inflammatory properties. Rosemary offers thyroid and digestive support and basil calms the nervous system. It's the oil of renewal on the emotional scale. The next three oils are myrrh, grapefruit, and cinnamon. Now remember cinnamon is hot, so you might have to use a little bit of fractionated coconut oil if you're applying this to yourself or somebody else. Just make sure you ask them. Cinnamon kills infections and pathogens, stimulates circulation, speeds metabolism and digestion. Now the last three oils are ginger, geranium and Siberian fir. That to me sounds beautiful. Ginger, geranium and Siberian fir. A very um, interesting complex mixture there, but ginger is the oil of empowerment. It is a neuroprotective, offers lymphatic support, and geranium offers support to the liver. It's great for all hormone issues. And then Siberian fur is the oil of aging and perspective, and it has a ton of cleansing properties. So I hope you were able to get those two protocols written down because now you have a massive amount of tools to fall back on in case you get sick this upcoming season, okay? So if you still need help, reach out, ask questions, look for support on social media or attend another Friday class and ask your questions here. So let's open it up to stories about 
how you support your immune system and what you plan on doing. Anybody want to share? Thank you, Sharon, for those clappy hands. <laughs> Go ahead, Marva. I like to do the bone broth with um, pasture fed butter with about five drops of celery seed oil and five drops of um, um, cilantro and onions. Ooh, that's that's a pretty heavy duty. Five drops of celery seed and cilantro. Mm -hmm. Good for you. That's that's a committed, addicted oiler right there. <laughs> Jenny, go ahead. You have your hand up. Well, the other day I thought Hector just had allergies, but I think it's actually a cold. So I was a little like, ooh, but thankfully like we're two days in and I'm not feeling a thing because I've been doing all the things proactively already kind of leading up to this point. But another thing that is really helpful too, if you're going to be in a lot of crowds and Emily's actually mentioned this too, putting correct X as like a veil almost inside your nostrils is another really good thing to be proactive, especially after you utilize that, that thing that you mentioned with the oregano steamer. I'm going to try that every morning now. Awesome. Good. I'm so glad you learned something new that you could put into practice. Um, even Brie Vargas in one of her, um, what are they called? Reels. She showed us how she was carrying around the on guard wipes and she was walking into a hotel and she wiped down all the surfaces. That's being proactive, right? Because you never know what you're going to touch out in the public. And so having those wipes on us is very important as well. Sharon, you have your hand up next. Yes, I've been making sure to work on the lymph system right now. So doing the dry brushing and the lymph massage to keep things flowing and get those toxins out. Yes. Lymphatic work every single day is important. I love it. Thank you. Wendy, you're next. I like, like if you have a cough, um, Joan had given me a recipe for like a muscle relaxer morphine thing. And it just kind of helps me. Or even if you're just feeling achy and you go to bed and you take that and you feel so good. I think, let me see if I've got the recipe here. It's um, the, you would do a combination of six drops each frankincense, oregano, copaiba, marjoram, and lemongrass. Even like if I work super hard, LDC, whatever, take that when you go to bed and you can sleep oh. really good. What yeah. The heck? yeah, we can... We can make a little concoction like that and take it before we go to bed or make a concoction and take it before we head out the door and expose ourselves. Thanks, Jenny, for putting all of that in the chat. There's a morphine balm, an anti-inflammatory um, recipe that is available as well. We have so much at our fingertips and it helps to be reminded of these things, especially um, since we're heading into the cold months of the year, right? So we are prepared. We are going to be proactive. We are not going to be scared of getting sick. Life happens. And even when we do get sick, we can handle it. We're just going to drown ourselves in oil and bounce right back into it, right? Right back into life. So awesome. Thank you, everybody, for um, contributing to our class today and showing up. I am going to do our raffle and then close it out with some announcements, okay? So don't forget, November 1st, in just a couple of days, we have our holiday products being released if you didn't get the email yet, you will be getting that soon. They have a lot of fun things. My favorite thing that I'm looking forward to purchasing, I think they have a limit for, I think all the holiday limits are, yeah, Jenny? Okay, so four per holiday. But mine is the new cinnamon cough drop. So now we have the breathe, the on guard, the ginger, and now we're going to have cinnamon. Now, I don't think they're going to make it a permanent thing, but I am buying four bags of that one. Um, so yeah, holiday products are coming up November 
is going to be possibly a BOGO month. So just keep that in the back of your head. I think it's going to happen around the third week. Typically it does. Don't quote me on that. They might change it up, but I'm hoping for BOGOs. So watch for those announcements. Um, tomorrow, anybody who is in Northern California has the opportunity to attend a Reclaim Your Health event in Modesto. So if you want that invitation and you have people that live in that area that you would like to send, let me know. And then November 11th, in a couple of weekends, San Antonio with Jenny Garcia and Joan is going to be happening to reclaim your health. Sharon, I hope you're able to get yourself to that one. Um, if you need the invite, Jenny, post it on her um, Instagram. Uh, reach out to me. I can get it for you. There are only 49 tickets available. So we know that they are going to sell out and you're going to be able to um, have a lot of hands-on experience at that event. So pretty cool. All righty. Now for our giveaway, I have a whole box of stuff because I got a lot of extra stuff from my Reclaim Your Health event. So there is a deep blue exercise band. Love it. There is a MetaPower plastic shaker bottle. Some of you have these products, some of you don't. There's a little monogram doTERRA lotion container. Then there are three Malama samples. I got tons of these from Leah who came to my event. And then I have a two ounce spray bottle and two of these ginger shot bottles that you could play with, okay? So it's a combination of a lot of different things. So who is going to get this little box full of a lot of goodies? Let's see. Uh, Jenny, can you pick a number between one and 14, please? Five. Three, four, five. All righty, the winner is Marva Smith. Marva, do you need this box or would you like to pass all that? Are we talking about needs or wants? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about, let's see, who is brand new or who has not joined us in a long time? Can we pass this on to Alita? Alita, it's been a long time since we saw you. Congratulations. Marva's going to allow you to benefit from this box. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't have to. Uh, no, I don't She's think like, uh... <laughs> I don't think you've attended an event yet, right? No, I mean, I haven't. I didn't get to go this time to the um, convention. No, the Reclaim Your Health event. So Jenny's is going to be in San Antonio. Hopefully you can make that one because you're close, right? To San Antonio. Yes, I'm, I'm actually in San Antonio. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. So these products are going to be at her event. If you get there, then you'll know what these are for. But okay. Marva got got a couple of them. So we're going to we're going to send this off to you. Okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you, You're Marva. <laughs> thank you, Marva. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for attending another Friday class. I hope that you found value. You learned a little something new and you feel prepared to take care of your immune system as we enter the cold and flu season. So have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday here on Zoom again. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.